Hey, this is Michael with X-Force PC. You've probably heard a lot of talk recently about Windows 11 coming out, which, um, I don't know, I'm not terribly excited about. But anyway, um, one of the requirements of Windows 11 that's going to trip up a lot of people is having a TPM, or Trusted Platform Module. And this has been in present in desktops and laptops for quite a while now. I, I couldn't give you an exact date. But all of, our, all of our systems over the last few years have come with this device. But on the desktop side, by default, these modules are disabled. This functionality is disabled in the BIOS by default because there's never really been much of a use for it up until now Windows 11 suddenly needs it. So um, a lot of people are going to end up having to go into their BIOS, which isn't something an end user typically should be doing. But anyway, having to go in and enable the TPM module. So um, what, what is a TPM? A TPM essentially is hardware level encryption. So let's say you encrypted your hard drive with BitLocker and then you wanted to, someone took your hard drive and put it in another computer, they wouldn't be able to read it. It would only work in the computer it was installed in and of course with the credentials that you've established, an IE password that you've established. Uh, and so that makes the security um, much more robust. Hardware level security with combined with software level security is uh, very, very effective. But a lot of users are going to again have to go into their BIOS and turn on TPM. Now one thing that you can run to see is Microsoft has come out with the PC Health Check software. And when you run that, it says introducing Windows 11. And you say check now basically to see if you can run Windows 11. And look at that, this PC can't run Windows 11. And it says I don't have a TPM 2.0. Now if I go to my device manager and I look under, if you look under security devices, you should see something that says TPM 2.0, you know, device or module or something to that effect under security devices, and I do not see that. So I'm going to go into my BIOS and I'm going to enable the TPM and then we'll come right back. Okay, so I've gone into my BIOS, I've enabled the TPM, and, and the procedure for doing so is going to vary from motherboard to motherboard. So what I'll probably do is make a series of videos with different motherboards and how to enable uh, the TPM on the motherboard. That's not really the purpose of this video. Um, and I don't suggest anyone, any of you, go into your BIOS and try to do this right now. There's no need for it. Wait till you have to do it before you do it. Wait for Windows 11. You may not even want to go to Windows 11. Um, but you should never play around in your BIOS unless you absolutely have to. And since Windows 11 is not available, you don't absolutely have to because there's no need to. It's not available yet as of whatever today's date is, June 25th, I think, something like that. So I'm going to run, uh, first of all, I'm going to look in the device manager. And I know this is probably small and you probably can't see it. Um, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll zoom in for you. Right here. So we'll look under security devices in the device manager and we have something called Trusted Platform Module 2.0. And when I go and I run the PC Health Check from, this is something from Microsoft, PC Health Check, and I check to see if Windows 11 is supported, it says, now it says, yes, this PC can run Windows 11. So the only thing holding us back was not having TP, the TPM module or TPM enabled in our BIOS, and now it is, and now we can run Windows 11. Yippity yay. Um, so again, I stress, don't worry about this right now. I just put this, putting this out here so that you know it's something on the horizon that maybe you'll have to deal with at some point in the future.